Hey everyone, welcome back to Gaming Iguana. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth Edition. And uh, if you've watched any of the previous episodes, you may notice that there's a couple of things missing from this scene. Um, the first of those is a Jerboa. We had little mutated Jerboas, um, one of which was named Holly. It was red and green, and it died. We also had a parasaur named the Pink Turret, and it died too. Uh, I was out doing a resource run, and I got ambushed by some raptors over that way. And yeah, we, we lost everything. Uh, I was able to take out the raptors here that we tamed last episode, and take down the wild raptor pack. So we got the stuff back, so I still have all my desert cloth armor. Um, but unfortunately, Holly and the Pink Turret are now no longer with us. But anyway, uh, I wanted to mention something kind of interesting. So we need to carry another Jerboa with us. And this happened. Uh, so Ark updated recently, and I'm not sure what happened when they patched um, the end of the Easter event, but it looks like one of the mutation regions on our green Jerboa is now white. Um, this is not an isolated incident. I've seen this happen on like other people's games as well, where the mutations are no longer the color that they should be. They're white instead. Um, so come on, wildcard, fix your game. But that's okay. Um, the Jerboa will still work. It's just not as cool as it was when it was green, although I do like the white. All right. So next thing, we are going to name some dinosaurs that we tamed last episode. Um, because today, actually what I want to do is breed up the two raptors that we have, get a little bit of a pack, and then go around and collect some hide and explore a little bit. So that's the end goal. Um, so first we are going to rename these guys. This one um, from a watcher suggestion is going to be Navidad, sticking with our Christmas theme um, that we had, although it's not really a Christmas dino anymore. I guess white's kind of snow-like. So that's Navidad. She's our new Jerboa buddy since Holly's no longer with us. Um, our little pink Lystro here, we are going to name perfectly XP candy because it gives XP to our dinos and it looks like candy and it's it's so perfect all right uh, and this is our high level raptor this is our good raptor and whoops give me there we go this one we're gonna call desert claw uh, I'm not gonna name this raptor cuz it's not worth naming all right and then this Parasaur, um, I kind of like the suggestions what we got, uh, but I think, I think we're going to name it just Cherry. Um, mostly because, I don't know, I like the name Cherry. It's part of, part of a suggestion we got, and I wasn't sure I liked the whole name, so... I figured we would just go with a shortened version cherry, but this is our new safety turret. Um, she's going to be watching out for us, making sure that nothing dangerous is nearby. And so I am going to set up, I have learned how to create a hitching post from the Ingram menu, so S Plus has this nifty thing called the hitching post, which allows you to prevent nearby dinos from wandering, which is super handy when you're trying to do some breeding. So what we're going to do is just set this up probably along the side of the house here. We're going to bring our raptors over and we're going to put them on wandering and we're going to start some breeding. Hitch. Hopefully you're close enough. Behavior. Ah, maybe wandering. These radial menus, like, I like them, but they are a little bit strange to work with. Now, they should... 
Oh, he's following. They should start breeding here in a minute. They might be too far apart, though. They are too far apart. All right. Well, um, here, disable wandering. Unhitch. Nope. Come back. Ugh, they're so low level. I can barely move. Hitch. Favor, enable wandering. Are you mating now? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna let these guys give me a few eggs, and I'm gonna bring you guys back when we are ready to hatch those out and look at some baby raptors. Uh, I will see you in a bit. All right, guys, so we are back and we are just about ready to hatch up this raptor egg. It's got about 30 seconds left. Uh, it has been a little while. I went on some resource runs um, and just collected up this egg. And I actually have a couple more raptors over there that were born while I was gathering some metal. Um, they managed to hatch. And so I just imprinted them. They're sitting over there and I figured I would show you those after we watch this one hatch just so you can kind of get the full experience but i do have fully grown imprinted raptors um, from those same parents as well there we go look at you how cute i really like this model after the tlc pass they have oh man they just look so cool as babies now um we need some meat All right. Oh no, where'd the baby go? Forgot it was on follow. There you are. Okay. All right, have some food. All right, so level 85, that's a lot higher than the level 24 we were breeding with. Um, still a female, but the other pair that hatched up were actually a pair of level 129 twins. I don't think this is mutated. It's not. Cool. So I think what we're going to do is do a little bit more breeding with the level 129 raptors that were born. And this one can kind of be like the one of the hangers on, one of the lower level raptors in the pack. But still, really awesome. I love this new TLC baby model. Let's see. 252. Okay. So I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes when this one is ready for an imprint um, and then once we have this one all grown up and imprinted I will show you the level 129s as well because they are kind of amazing they're sitting over there punched myself all right cool so I'll see you guys in a minute Okay, this guy is just about ready for an imprint. What are you gonna want? Cuddle, walk, please cuddle or walk. Awesome, walk. Crouching. All right, come with me. I really wanna see the little animation. Oh, that's pretty cute. Awesome. All right, so hopefully uh, we will get the second imprint on this little one. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave them right here and we can run over here. And as you can see, we have this level 129 Raptor. So this is one of the Raptors that was born from Desert Claw and our crappy Raptor right here. Uh, and this is the full siblings. So we have twin females of level 129, which is not bad. That's a pretty good level. Uh, so I'm using them to breed any new raptors that we make. I kind of would really like to get one high level male before we go and form a little raptor pack and take them out. Because uh, these guys have really low level health still. Like 384 is super. I keep crouching. I don't know why I do that. Um, so this one, I've pumped a couple of levels into health already, but he had higher health when we tamed him than these females do now. I think they got, yeah, they got the help from, from their mother here. That is a really cool level up animation. 
All right. So what I'm gonna try to do is breathe these guys together until we can get some raptors that are closer to Desert Claws level and stats, um, and then then we can form our little super raptor pack, uh, and then we will be able to go around and do a little bit of raptor pack hunting. So I will bring you guys back in a bit when we have oh first egg. We have a few more raptors hatched up and show you the completed pack and then we will go out and do a little bit of exploring. Okay, so I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, everyone, so we are back and we have our raptor pack. Here they are. And as you can see, they're all kind of in the mid 100 levels, so like 130, 150-ish. Um, which is awesome, right? So these guys are much higher level than the uh, female raptor we originally tamed, which I think came out at like level 20 something. Very, very low. All right, so I think what we're gonna do now is run around with this little pack of ours and test out some of these new Paris, uh, sorry, raptor abilities. So, bet, I bet we could kill this Anki. Go. Nice. All right. So we have a vicious pack of raptors. I really like this. And as you can see, this little red glow means that we are on the highest level raptor around right now, which is awesome because that means we can now do our little C attack. Is that? I was wondering where she went. She can come with us. All right. Let's go over this way. I'm not gonna kill the blue Dota. He's too cool. Let's go look for something. Maybe a Morella Tops. What level are you? 36. Perfect. And. Ooh. I really like that little call that they do. Unfortunately, it doesn't last very long. I'm gonna use it on this one. There we go. I think they upped how long it lasts, which is good. Wonder what else we can take down. What level is this for on? Can't even, okay. Let's still, 12. All right. I bet we can do this. If I can, there we go. Yeah, all right. Oh, that's my level. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's start leveling a little bit of health. Awesome. These guys are killing it. I'll wander down this way. See if we can find anything a little bit stronger. And I bet we can pounce this bug. Cool. All right. Now I'm just checking the levels of everything because I do plan on taming a Dodic and an Anki soon, and I really don't want to end up killing a high level that we could use at some point. Man, these guys are killing it. They just wreck everything. 92. Eh, we can do better. Alright. I wonder why she's slow. She's probably weighed down. Alright. I'm gonna distribute a few levels here. My goal is to pump everything into health on these guys because none of them came out with the high level health except this lower level. So this level like 88 Raptor here came out with the high level health from the, oop, oop, stay it on. I wonder where we're gonna do it. Oh, that 
that was not as hard as I thought. All right. Anyway, that level 88 raptor came out with the high level health from the male raptor, Desert Claw, that we tamed. Um, but everyone else came out with, like, the level, the 300 health that we got from the really bad raptor that we tamed. So, um, I did keep breeding, and we do have a high level female that now also has the high health on it. So, from now on, when we go to do any raptor breeding, we will have, like, a good set of raptors to start the breeding process with. So... Um, a mutation video may be incoming at some point. I think we're going to try to take down this Parasaratharium here. Paw, oh, get wrecked. Man, these guys are amazing. Okay. What else can we kill? A wolf. Direwolf. What level are you? 84. Not bad. I do want to get direwolves pretty soon here, too. Because they are super powerful. Everyone's stuck on rocks. Alright. Come here. What is this? Oh! Microraptors. That was a really cool looking micro raptor. But I don't feel bad. These things suck. Awesome. Look at him. He had like green feet and a cyan body. Oh man. That looks like it was a really rough death. Hmm. Anyway. There we go. Now he's lunch. Alright, so let's see what else we can find down here. I might also, if I find any silica pearls, pick up a few of those because we do need them to make desert goggles. And mine are starting to wear out a little bit. So pretty soon here in the next couple of episodes, we're going to go on a general resource run where we are going to go and look for some crystal and some obsidian and some silica pearls. And hopefully we will be able to find all three of those things um, because we were definitely going to need them and we may eventually move bases to the other side of the map also because the resources on this side of the map are just not that great God. they're so loud when they just go to town like that Yeah, the resources on this side of the map are not super great. Oh, an Easter wolf. So I do have the Easter event turned off now, but some of the spawns are still obviously on the map. I did not do a destroy wild dinos wipe. Um, mostly because I really like the way that these things look. They're super cool. But I don't think we're going to be taming too many of them unless we find a really high level somewhere. Do we have everybody? We should have like five or six of them. Excellent. Micro raptors. I hate micro raptors. Okay, how are we doing on levels? So I'm shocked, honestly, that we haven't lost a raptor yet. Whoops. I'm shocked, honestly, that we haven't lost a raptor yet. Okay, goes. Okay, goes. I just... just I, I don't even know what's happening. They're just wrecking everything. Alright. There's... No one else has levels? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Cool. We can kill this parasaur too. Yep, we can. Come on. There we go. Oh, 
All gone. All right. Have everyone. Let's see you, 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 you. Yes, we've got everyone. Cool. All right. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Uh, we've done what we set out to do. We got ourselves a little bit of a raptor army here. Um, we've been going around. That's the pounce attack, by the way. Going around. Um, killing a few things. These guys are super powerful. They're going to make it really easy to get around the map without dying quite so much. Although we will still have to probably bring a parasaur for actual carrying of resources because these guys do not have that kind of weight. Attack. Excellent. Awesome. There we go. Cool. So we're going to make our way back up to the base here. And I guess I will catch you guys in the next episode. If you have any like name suggestions for these raptors, please do let me know in the comments below. Also, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please hit that like button for me. Uh, it really will help me out and promote my channel which would be great because I am new to YouTube and I'm really enjoying doing this and I'm really enjoying getting to talk to some of you guys. That is a mess. So I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already. Just kind of help support small YouTubers, people who are doing this for fun rather than as for a living. Bam. All right. Sure, we got everyone. All right. So, if you have, I think we're going to end the episode there, guys. If you have not already, please do hit that like button and let me know that you've been enjoying the videos. Or subscribe also if you want to. Um, I don't put out a lot of content yet, but I am hoping to increase that. I'm really having fun making these YouTube videos and getting to talk to the people on this uh, on YouTube. It's like a really great community, so I'm super excited about being able to do this with you guys. Okay, so that's it for today. I will catch you in the next episode and signing off. I am the Iguana. I'll see you guys later.